Russell. And now Puma on the blue line, fumbled the puck. It was knifed away by Debian on a partial break right side. Backhander stop, rebound, they score! Garrett Forrester in the slot on the blocker side off the pad of Driscoll. Makes it 1-0 with 5-11 to go for West Kelowna. The game coming up in our post-game show is we'll pick one hit of the game. Brought to you by the Penticton Speedway. Off this draw. Gary goes back to the point. Now Pullman for Fabro right wing. In front, they score! Fabro lets it go, hits a leg in front. Might have went off Tyson Jostin in. It doesn't matter. 2.23 to go. The Bees are tied now. It's 1 1. Terrific read by Dante Fabro at the right point after the Bees win the faceoff after a big. Puck on the Warrior right wing on the far side. Jost getting involved there with Sodergren. Comes down low to Conway in the corner on the goal line. In front, they score! <laughs> Tyson Jost on a nice feed by Conway across the goal mouth, taps it in, blocker's side. He's got two, the V's at the lead, it's 2-1 with 9.45 to go. Well, when you need a goal, call on the captain, and Tyson Jost does, does just that. His second of the game, his eighth of the season. Nice play by Conway out of the right corner to feed this bouncing puck in front, and Jost is able to whack it in just in front of the goal line, beating his man to the puck. I believe that was Kyle Marino. Oh, they got a bit the, concerned about another defenseman banged up right now. Well, it was just on Tuesday that Harrison took a dangerous hit, and that's the reason why he's out of this game. Penalty kill brought to you by Providence Funeral Homes. Fans don't like the call. Six to go in the period, and the B is on the PK here for the second time tonight. Off the draw. Nelson in the blue line for West Kelowna, right side, DBN. He'll go back across to Blackburn, left wing. Back in front to Campbell. In front, a score! No, waved off. Kicked in. Off a skate after Campbell centered it. Damien right away argued with the referee, Steve Brown, who immediately waved it off. Kicked Went from off our vantage point now, of course, we're far away, and Steve Brown now signaling that he waved it off. And so no real argument and, either. Yeah, I think West Kelowna knew it, and we're still playing on this power play. A minute 35 left in the penalty to Hanoon, and the, and the V's dodge a bullet, so to speak. And uh, the replay will be shown here, but from a angle that's hard to tell. Oh yes, yeah. directed right. in by Quinn Foreman. He turned and under 88%. Back in on left wing is Liam Blackburn. Walking the circle, he scores! What a shot, lots of room, and he's gonna make you pay if you give him that time and space. Locks in off the wall and rips it blocker's side. This time, the power play bites the Vs, it's 2-2. Wes Kelowna gets a power play goal. Liam Blackburn with a terrific shot up over the blocker side of Zach Driscoll. And again, you mentioned it, you can't let a player like Blackburn, a third year warrior with the skill that he possesses to walk in with that kind of time and space, has the open shot on the left side. You're in there for the icing call. Your Remco finds on the boards. To center now on right wing, Hopes behind the D on the right side, partial break in, scores! Kyler Hope, Rusick glove side of the V's get caught a little flat footed. And two quick goals here at the end of the second, and the Warriors are back ahead 3-2. to two. V's defense slow to get back on this one. Donahue and Jones caught up ice. Right and circle. Conway dragged it around two sprawled defenders. Now Jost moving in, scores! Tyson Jost on the power play. Roofs it early in the third period from the slot, and he's got the hat trick. And it's 3-3 three, three at the SOEC. Oh, well, I guess they're going to score. How about that, Tyson Jost? Second hat trick of the season for the V's captain. As Jost able to roof it after what was a terrific play. Overland IGA. V's left to right again, right to left of the Warriors. Scrambled at center and swept back by Conway to Pullman and we're underway in overtime. V's trying to... Get their ninth straight win. Warriors are trying to get a win after an overtime loss on Tuesday. Conway in from center, scores! <laughs> Scott Conway ends it just 13 seconds in, coming down the middle and roofing it glove side. It's nine in a row, final score, 4-3. What a rush by Scott Conway. We were nagging him on that power play for not shooting. How about that for a shot? Conway down the left side after the faceoff win. 
and buries it by Ploje on the glove side. The V's get the overtime winner just 13 seconds in and win this hockey game.